Good morning. So today I want to give you a little tour of what's inside your controller box of your kiln. This is a Paragon kiln and a Sentry controller. So let's take a look at what's inside. First and foremost, your kiln is going to be off when you do any type of electrical work. And I mean no power to it. So you have to either unplug it from the outlet or shut off your breaker if it's hardwired, whatever you need to do, but no power to the kiln when you're working on electrical parts. So to access this box, all I did was I took out the two screws that are in here, and then it just swings right open. And you can see it has kind of two sections. You have a section that is connected to the kiln and a section that just swung out in this box here. So these are your hot parts. And that's why you have this uh, protective covering over them. I also removed all of these screws just for the time's sake. And you can see how the heat has affected the insulation. That happens when these guys get a little too hot and too long. I do have a separate video on trimming them. But these are the ends of your elements. So those elements that are coiled inside of your kiln this is where they come out on this side. You're going to have an insulate, insulative piece right here. And then this is your element tail and a connector with a wire. Okay. So um, let's see where all of this goes to. But first, I just want to point out this guy to you right here. This is your thermocouple. Your thermocouple is the stick that's inside the kiln and it comes out of here. Do you see these two little tails right here? That's the end of your thermocouple. To replace your thermocouple, all you do is you just loosen these two bolts, you take it out from the inside of the kiln, you pull it out, you put the new one in, make sure that the color coding stays the same. Usually they will make one tail red and one tail silver. You put it back in the same way and you tighten those two screws right back down. Changing a thermocouple is like a two minute job. No more. Very easy. Same thing with the, with the changing of your elements, right? So you would just unscrew all of this, pop out the tails, take out your coil, put a new coil in, thread it right back in, and tighten them all right back down. Very, very simple. It's a little bit more um, a pain just to like get the coils in the kiln, but electrically speaking, it's easy. So let's see where all these wires are going to. So they're coming out of your elements, and they're going right into your relays. Your relays is what turns your elements on and off. This is also, on occasion, um, it needs a little maintenance. So I just had one get stuck the other day, meaning that the computer shut off and the relay got stuck and one of the elements never turned off. So I had to manually unplug the kiln and um, now I had the job of replacing these two relays. Um, when you replace one relay, you should really just replace all of them so they're all the same age. So to replace relays, I'm going to try to make a separate video for that. Um, but it's also really, really simple. So all you do for this is you do need to remove this panel, which is attached right here. So you just take these screws off and this whole panel will come out and then you can access these bolts right here. When you unscrew these, your relay will come right out. It's going to look like this. This is my old one, right? So you're literally looking at this. So you take it out, you transfer all of your old wires onto the new relay exactly as they were, and you just bolt it back in and you just put all of your screws back in. It's really simple. So these are your relays. This is your transformer, and this is your motherboard. The motherboard is the most expensive part. If that goes, it's a little bit more expensive. Honestly, I, I think I've seen like six, 800 for this model, um, but, you also just unscrew it and these wires, you see this red piece here, red and white, that actually the whole thing I believe unplugs. I haven't had to do it yet on this kiln, but um, that looks also very replaceable. I believe it can be done. Um, but that, that's all it is. So you have the motherboard that is telling the relays to go on and off. The relays turn your elements on and off and your thermocouple tells the motherboard when to do this. Okay, it's really fairly simple and nothing to be afraid of. The only thing is just make sure that your kiln is off 
and that you're putting everything back exactly the way the manufacturer had it. These guys right here have to be tightened all the time, okay? They come loose with heat and then they start looking corroded. Let me show you my old one. See how yucky it is? I actually had to replace the whole entire thing. So this was here. And I ordered, pardon my reach, I ordered some new wiring from the manufacturer. Um, I usually order everything from, from Clay King, but they didn't have these type of wires. So I just wrote to Paragon and I said, hey, you know, I need some of these short wires. No problem. I think I paid them like $16 on Venmo or something. And they sent me a whole pack of them. See? So now I have a whole bunch. And you can get the longer ones that go to the relays, you know, just uh, if you can find it in the store, just ask the manufacturer, they have them all. Um, so these, these do need to be tightened and replaced. Um, really, they say after every firing, I'm gonna be honest, I don't tighten them. Every firing, it's more like every five or six firings, I go in and I just, you know, just take my little, you know, screwdriver and um, make sure that everything is nice and tight. That way we don't have any heat escaping because um, a loose connection generates more heat. So that's, that's where that um, insulation damage came from. And that is just about it for the inside of the kiln. Not so bad, right? If you guys have any questions, please feel free to um, message me or uh, you know write it in the comments. And I will try to make a video on uh, replacing the relays. I tried to take like a little documentary as I was doing it. Um, let me see if it's usable or not, and I'll, I'll post it when I get a chance. Have a great day, you guys, and I'll see you later.